What's going on my beautiful people? Welcome back to another video. My name is Alex Garfay and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make some flautas. Flautas are basically like rolled tacos or taquitos, but they're gonna be some warmed up tortillas filled with some filling and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that is. So let's jump right into the kitchen and get into the recipe. All right, so here are the ingredients that you're gonna need for this recipe. I got some tortillas right here. We got one teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and half a teaspoon of salt. We got one small onion, four garlic cloves, some diced jalapenos, and also 1.5 cups of pinto beans. So now the first thing that we wanna do is chop up the onions and the garlic. So let's get right to that. So now we're just gonna finely dice the garlic. So once you chop your garlic finely, we're just gonna move it to the side and start with the onion. All right, and once you have your onions all chopped up, we're gonna heat up a pan with a tablespoon of avocado oil and get ready to cook up these onions. So we're gonna add about a tablespoon of avocado oil and then we're gonna drop these onions in and cook them until they're translucent. So once the onions turn translucent, you wanna add the rest of the spices as well as the garlic. These only need to cook for about 30 seconds and then you can take them off the heat. Now the next step is to get your beans, add in the jalapenos, squeeze about half a lime into here, and now just mash it all up. And if you have some whole bean pieces in there, it's not a big deal. It gives it a little bit more texture. You don't have to mash it completely, but just to give it a little bit more of a smoother consistency. So this looks like a good consistency for me, and now you wanna add in the onions that we just cooked up and mix it in with this. And now you just wanna mix it all up And the next step you wanna do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. That way when we roll these up onto the tortillas, the oven is ready and preheated. And once you have your tortillas, you wanna grab about a good amount of the filling, put it on the edge here, spread it into a thin line. I'm actually gonna use a little bit more. And then you wanna begin rolling it up like so. And if you wanna put a tiny bit at the end, it'll help it stick a little bit more when you roll it up. And you wanna make sure the filling reaches the end, so you wanna just press them so they reach the very end. So this one looks good. And now repeat the process. So we'll roll it up, press it to make sure the filling gets spread evenly, and we are ready to bake these. Now the next step in the process is to add one tablespoon of avocado to the pan that you're gonna bake these in. I'm using a cast iron pan, I'm just gonna brush it lightly and I'm gonna use some of this to coat the tops of the flautas as well. So now we just wanna set them in there and lightly brush the top of these flautas, that way we can get a golden brown crust. So now we're gonna bake these in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna turn them over after 10 minutes for another five to seven minutes. And now this next part is optional, but just to make it taste a bit better and give it some more flavors, we're gonna chop up some lettuce and also make a little tomato and avocado salsa. And another way that I've been mashing avocados is just grabbing a fork and mashing it while it's still intact. I find that it's much easier this way and then you can just scoop it all out and no need to mash it a second time. So now we're just chopping up the tomato. So now we can begin making the salsa. Chopped up one Roma tomato and I'm gonna chop up some cilantro here. Add the cilantro on top of the tomatoes. Squeeze some lime juice over it. Sprinkle a little bit of salt over it and then mix it all up. So now as toppings for the flautas, we got some mashed avocado, some lettuce, and a little tomato salsa. So the flautas are almost done. I'm gonna clean up all of this so we can begin plating them. All right guys, we are all done and take a look at these. Nice golden brown. What a beautiful sight. So now we're just gonna top them with some lettuce, some of the tomatoes and cilantro, and then some of the avocado. Just for the picture, we'll add a little bit more lettuce. All right, so I'm gonna take a picture of these and then we will do a taste test. All right guys, take a look at that. I got a loaded plate right here, getting ready to take a nice bite. We get some of the guacamole on there, or the avocado I should say, since I didn't really make a, a traditional guac. I'm trying to show you guys this bite right here. Let's do it. Mm. So, I took a huge bite right there, but that was delicious. The flavor combinations, the spices, the jalapenos, the beans, 
Everything mixed together very, very well. And I definitely recommend you guys to try this recipe. I got it out of the Thug Kitchen cookbook. I didn't follow the recipe exactly like they did because I didn't have all the ingredients that they had. But either way, the way I made it turned out delicious. So I definitely recommend for you guys to try this recipe. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.